commanders, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also hit that notification bell, to get notified on my latest uploads. As always, let's get on with the show. America. Welcome commanders to another unit review. This time, we are going to look at the US Army's best heavy tank during late World War II. The M26 Pershing. This heavy tank is produced in small numbers during the late stages of World War II, and we are put in tank battalions to counter the German Tiger. Yes. The Pershing is designed to go face to face with the German Tiger, a beast that boasts a 88mm anti-tank gun which can penetrate any allied tank during battle. And since the arrival of the Pershing in the Western Front, the Germans are hardly penetrating the Pershing's armor due to its design. Let's talk about the gun of the Pershing first. It has a 90mm anti-tank gun on it which can be used in two ways, 1, destroy any Axis tank as possible or 2, to support the infantry against incoming threats. And since it's a 90mm, it can penetrate the armor of the Tiger 1 when face to face, except when its hull is angled. It also has a 12.5mm machine gun mounted on it, designed for killing infantry or incoming aircraft from above. Surely, these weapons are enough for the Pershing to survive by itself. But it's not about the weapons of this heavy. It's about its armor. The design of the hull armor is similar to the Panther, but with some minor changes applied to it. It is designed to bounce any Axis shell at its time. A ricochet chance of 9% surely is enough for this heavy tank. But if you use armor docks and you equip a passive skill called Fixed Sloped Armor, which will give your Pershing a 18% ricochet chance, which will increase its chances of survival in tank to tank combat. Speed is one problem for this thing though, and it can't catch up to units whose speed is faster than the Pershing. Now, for some advice. The best ops to use the Pershing with is the armor dots, since the skills you get will have an increased damage in tanks for 20%. Tracks of tanks cannot be broken. Infantry will deploy when tank has been deployed, which can be great in distraction on enemy tanks. And an 18% increase in ricochet chance for the Pershing. Pair it up with the active skill tank production and M36 Jackson. These passive and active skills will help your decks composed of tanks deal much more damage to the enemy faction. And that's it for today's unit review. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and join my discord, link is below the description. As always, I will see you next time, commanders. Good game.